so I have my beautiful dried sunflowers over here. I tried to get as much silica off of them as I could without completely damaging the petals or everything just falling off. Um, I have some pre-poured coasters here because I like to layer anything that I do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do one and test it out. So I, I have also sprayed my flowers with a little bit of hairspray to help seal them a little bit. And I have about four, four ounces of resin poured and ready to go. So like I always do, I prep my mold with my 91% isopropyl alcohol, just so I don't get any air bubbles. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour quite a bit in there. I'm gonna kind of sit and watch it. I definitely want to make sure any air bubbles that come up, I'm popping them. I'm actually gonna pour some more because these sunflowers are kind of deep. And I want it to touch the front of every petal and including the middle of the sunflower. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm gonna pop any bubbles and then we will, we will put our sunflower in the mold. Okay, so I went ahead and poured another one because I had enough resin in the cup to pour two. So what I'm gonna do is very, very carefully pick up this sunflower, shake it to make sure no more of the silica gel is on it. And then I'm gonna very carefully place it into my mold. And what I, I want it down deep enough to where the petals the petals get into the resin. So I'm gonna get a tool out here. I'm gonna kind of press it. What I'm trying to do is make sure <clears throat> that there's a that all the petals are pressed down into the resin and then I'm gonna watch for any air bubbles that might kind of come up from underneath and I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and pour more um, up to where probably about where the greenery starts okay so for this one over here I'm going to put a smaller one. And I'm going to do the same thing, except this one I'm able to kind of press down a little bit easier. And then I have this one right here that's kind of a half because some of the petals broke. So I'm gonna put this one right here on the edge. And 
I'm trying to just make sure all my petals get underneath. And I know you're probably wondering um, what I'm gonna do about the stems that are sticking out, anything that's gonna stick out above the mold. I'm gonna cut that. Once this, once this cures, my plan is to cut the parts that stick out out of the mold. And you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. Okay, so I am, this one I just stuck them down in there really good because they were smaller. This one right here, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and mix a little bit more of the resin and pour it on top. And I'm gonna try to, the, the petals that were dry kind of curled underneath each other. I'm gonna just use my tools and try to straighten them out a little bit. And I did save a lot of my petals that had came off the flowers when I was pulling them out of the silica gel. This is the point in time where you could actually go in and place some petals to make it look like that your flower, they didn't fall off your flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit more resin, um, enough to cover it up to probably the bottom of the green in both of these, and then um, I'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and mixed some more resin, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna spray some more alcohol, and then I'm gonna pour You don't really want to pour on top of the stem because that's where I'm going to cut eventually. And if I do, then I'm having a really hard time because that resin is going to be really hard. So I'm filling up all the way around. And what I want is for it to get up to the base of this green stem. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, and now, just like I do with every other resin project, I'm gonna sit and watch it for about the next 20 minutes, um, pop any bubbles I see that, that suddenly come up, and then we're gonna let it dry overnight. So stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe so you can see, you can follow me and see how these turn out. If it turns out good, then I have a bunch of other flowers and we can make some more. We'll see you soon. Okay, crafters, so our resin has dried overnight, and in this clip, I'm doing voiceover, so bear with me. I am working on cutting the stems off to make it even. That way, when I go to pour the black layer over the top, hopefully it'll be smooth, or at least um, not bumpy, where I can put the, the cork on top after the coasters are done. I just want a nice, even surface, so... What you're gonna see here is me working on that. And, and I'm just using an X-Acto knife. The resin on the stems is actually not too bad. I'm able to cut it off pretty easily. So at this point, I will go ahead and speed up the video. That way you guys aren't sitting through it.
Okay, so as you can see here, it looks like I'm about to pour on some black resin. I didn't make it dark enough, so I can see kind of through it. So I went ahead and added some more alcohol ink. That's what I'm doing right now at this stage. Um, as you can see too, I went ahead and poured two additional coasters with the flowers because I wanted a full set of four. Um, the two on the left have not been prepped yet. I haven't um, cut the stems off of them yet because the resin hasn't fully hardened. But I went ahead and mixed some black mica powder to give it a little bit of a, a shimmery effect with some black alcohol ink to give it a really dark, um, deep kind of black color with the shimmery mica powder. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm adding a little bit more and then you're gonna see me pouring it in the molds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and speed up the video here. Okay, so I'm pouring that black resin on those coasters. And you're gonna see me spraying it with the alcohol um, just to make sure I'm popping the bubbles. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then I'm adding a little bit more as I go. Now don't worry about being able to see the stem through the back because we're gonna add cork when they're completely finished. Welcome back, resin crafters. Are you ready to see how our sunflower coasters turned out? I am. Um, I had a piece of paper get stuck to the back of this one, but it's okay because this is going to be covered in cork, so I'm not too worried about that, but I am excited to see how these sunflowers turned out. Now, throughout the other videos, I only had two. I went ahead and just poured two more for a full set of four, so let's see how they look. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow, I'm impressed that the color stayed really nice. Oh, these are probably my new favorite. You guys, these turned out amazing. I need to go get more flowers. Super impressed with how these turned out. What do you guys think? Do they turn out good? Now I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit. This one looks like it has a couple little rough spots on it, which that'll come off. But these look really nice. I am excited. So um, I actually, I'm probably gonna do more DIY videos with the sunflowers. So just make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and um, we'll see you soon.